Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at FlexClip. For those regular viewers to the channel, you'll be familiar, I have looked at FlexClip before, but they recently announced a number of updates, so I thought it was worth going in. This time I'm gonna focus on creating a particular thing. So I'm gonna look at creating a outro to my YouTube channel, which allows me then to add other links and just give it a more professional looking thing. And I think it's a good way just to run through a project and show you all of the functions and features. So very quickly, just go through the navigation. So we've got here, I'm on the home page. I can see my projects across the top. I can also see all of the template videos that are there. And there's a whole range of different categories. So we've got most popular, promo, recently added, and you've got a whole variety. So we've got intro and outros there, ads, education and training. So this could be a great way of, of doing a, a little training video. Um, some corporate templates, some fun ones, things related to different themes. So there's a whole wide range of different things there. Um, my projects just shows you my projects, favorites, anything that you favorited. Um, stock videos allows you to search their massive library of stock videos. So there's a whole range of stuff. So this is focused on tech, but I could go uh, and, and see what we get in the way of outros. So there's really easy to find all of the types of different things and, and you can choose whether it's most relevant or most downloaded, most highest rated or trending. So you can really get an idea. So highest rated for outro, it's gonna be those. So we've got a whole range of different stock videos available. So let's start by creating our own. So we're gonna jump in and click start from scratch. And then we've got two modes to choose from. So as, as I roll over my mouse, you, you can see the preview there. So the timeline one, you have a timeline at the bottom, you add elements and you can drag and drop elements um, in a timeline. You can add transitions as you go, or you can choose the storyboard mode, which is just adding frames. So very similar, but subtly different in the way that you do it. Um, I prefer to use the timeline mode, but you can use either one. If you're familiar with something like um, Adobe Spark, then maybe the storyboard mode would be one that's more familiar to you. So we're gonna try the timeline mode. Okay, so we've now got a first scene and that's three seconds long so let's just talk through the window here so we can undo step backwards and forwards at the top we've got the ability to change the ratio so we can change the ratio depending on what we're shooting the the footage for whether that be um, for a particular type of device or whether it be super widescreen i'm going to leave it at 16.9 ratio we can change the background color if we wish and we've got a choice of colors there. Or if we click on the thing, we can add a specific color. So we can do that and we can put in the, the specific hex code. So if you have particular color related to your branding, then you could add that in there for your, your chosen background. If we click on the arrows, we can look at it uh, full frame. So we've got the whole editor full frame. And then down the left hand side, we've got a number of menus. So we've got templates there. So we've got a whole range of templates and you can either scroll down or look, or you can search. So I'm gonna look for, uh, let's look for outro YouTube, because that's what I'm looking to create. So there's a variety of different templates there that you can use as your starting point. So what we're gonna do is we'll scroll down. Let's see which one takes my fancy. So maybe something like that one. Or, do, 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 or should we go for something like this? Mm, decisions, decisions. All right, let's 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 go with that one. So what you can also do is you can favorite stuff. So if they're, they're, for outros, it could be you make a, a slightly different outro for each video. Uh, and instead of having to search for them, you can just click on the favorite and then that'll appear in your favorites list. So let's, as we've done something with that one before, let's try this one. So we'll add that there and we'll click on that. And we can just apply that to page one. So we, we've got a choice, replace all scenes, or add, so we'll just add that, and that'll add that to scene one for us. 
just take a moment to do that. So that's now added that and it's saying that we can adjust the timeline so we can use the so we've got our timeline there we can adjust how long we want it to last so at the moment that's seven seconds and we could make that longer we can add additional frames we can edit this so we can edit the information there so you could start to add your thing we can choose a particular font style so having done that we can type in so I could type in my Twitter handle and that will change on there if we're looking at other aspects so again thanks for watching we could change the color of that and we could add our own specific color I'm gonna keep it blue if we're looking at images we can drag and drop media to replace it so we can just drag and drop the image in there so if I was to have an image of myself I could add that in there so let's just be really vain I'm going to google myself and we'll find an image of me so images so there's an image of me there now obviously it's best not to do this, it's best to do a one that's probably the right size, but I can I can save that image. I can save that to my desktop. And then I can come here, media, I can upload, or I could record something if I wanted to. So I can upload a local file. So I'll click on that. I'll go to Downloads. I'll just find where that's gone. It may be on desktop. There it is. And open. And we can upload media there. And then I can just drag that in there. And it automatically fits it in the frame nice and easily. So that's done. And I could keep editing that, adding uh, various other social elements that I wanted to add. Again, I could find a different image to replace that one and again it's the same process I could just drag and drop so if we keep going down the menu on the left hand side I can come to text and it gives me various text options so it's got some templates there they've got other bits so potentially I want a subscribe pop-up so I could add that and I can position that. So I may decide I want to get rid of that one so I can click and get rid of that. I can move that. As I select it, I get the little handles appearing on the corners so I can adjust that. Ooh. Now that's multiple elements. So I've just selected one element. So let's try that now. That's better, I've selected all of it and I can adjust the size of that and position that where I want it. And at any point, I can just do a little preview. And it could be that maybe I, I'm not so fussed with the audio, so I can delete the audio if I wish. Uh, and I can just add additional audio by clicking add audio. So, so far we're building up the components just by looking through that. So we've changed the text, we've added a different image. Let's keep going down, so go to video. And it may be I want a, a, a particular background video so I could add a background video and there are lots of videos and again you can just search for the video but say I wanted that video so I can click plus uh, and there's a video there and I can choose where I want it to play so I could add other elements I'm going to undo that and you can do that just by clicking undo so that's how you can add videos. We go to photos, we can search uh, for photos from the library again. So we can look for images that we want and we can add those. Music wise, there's various different options and you can choose to add that. So just to show you, click add, it will appear at the bottom uh, and you can just click and drag to, to, to shorten it to the length so we could preview that so that's adding that I'm going to keep mine without any audio so I'll just select that and delete that 
and we could add additional scenes. Now this is just an outro, so I'm quite happy with it as it is. I can extend it if I want to extend the length of it just by clicking and dragging it. I could add additional frames. So I could add a new frame and add different content to that. And it's very easy. If you don't want something, you can just right click and, and delete it. So that's there. So we can keep going through. We go to the elements section. There's a variety of different things that you may choose to add. So we've got lots of social type elements. So we can just go through and look at the different social elements that we may want to add. So I may want to promote my Twitter and I can see, so it could be that I want to add that in place of that one. So what's really nice is I can do that. I can drag it into place as before I can shrink it down. So it's ready and then I can do my play so I get a preview of, of that appearing as I want. So you could see you could start to build up your your scene as you want it to be. So there's a blank bit there at the moment which I don't need so I can again just delete that. So we're going straight into the outro now. So again I can just do a play preview. So we're getting there. Um, next bit we've got overlays. So as it suggests, these are different overlays that you can add. So there's a whole variety. If you if you roll your mouse over it, it gives you a little preview of what's there. So let's try adding one of those. So we'll add a, a, let's try, let's see what else we've got here. So we've got them all there. It's a bit bold, some of those, but let's let's try that one. So we could add that in the background. We can click on the, the color there and change the colors. So we could make that more appropriate for this particular design. Uh, we'll maybe change the color of that font so it all works together more cohesively. And then again, we can do the preview. So we've got different elements happening. So you can really start to build your whole scene together by adding the different elements. Final element, we've got the, the background and there's various backgrounds um, which we could add. So we could do that and it'll add in the background. So it appears there. But what's really nice is you can remove it if you don't want to want it there. You can also look at the animation so you can choose what it does. It zooms in and out or it moves around. So if we were to do, I'm quite happy with none, but you could choose what you wanted and then click apply. So we're going to step back so we don't want a background in there. But what's really nice is it, the way you're able to just build up all of the different components that you want. And then the final element you've got is, is branding uh, and you can choose your image font type and, and how you want it to look. So when you're all happy with that, just one tip that I forgot to mention previously. If you want to alter how long each component stays on the screen, so we've got a number of different elements here, we can click on timeline uh, and you can then alter exactly how long a specific element stays on screen. So I can click on it and I can choose at what point that goes. So I can decide any bit elements I want to keep for on screen for the whole time or I can play it as I go. So that's just using the timeline feature. You can go to the export section uh, and you can export it. And it depends on your subscription level as to the quality that you get. So 480p is, is, is standard quality. Um, you've got good, which is part of your basic subscription and uh, the 1080p, which is part of the plus subscription. But when you click export, it will uh, provide you with a link or it'll give you the option of looking at the share settings within that so you can choose how to share it. So there you have it, FlexClip, a really great way to create a video which you can then use as part of your, 
your social media campaign or maybe as a how-to video, whatever it may be, but just a great way to build up that video with all the different components and use it in a variety of ways, um, either with your students or yourself. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more videos. Thanks for watching.